Welcome to Can Certainly Be Talked About, episode 34. A quick one. It's for JJ, and I'm kind of mad. Um, I left my kid at the kindergarten, but our internet provider just, yeah, it went down. Like, it's, it's in the whole area, kind of. So, my for JJ stream got affected. Hmm. We'll see. I might stream from the phone. I'm just recording now, just to record an update for Can Certainly Be Talked About, episode 34. Yesterday we were at the cancel ward. Uh, we went to do my, like, um, I do it every six months now. I do a MRI and a lot of blood work, and then I get the info. Um, so this time it's unchanged. It hasn't grown. That's the good part. Woohoo! Party! So I'm spoiling myself here with a cafe latte and I bought some bread for uh, the other two because I will probably not eat it because I have to lose 10 to 15 kilos now or I, I don't see that as a problem because I really wanted to um, start losing weight and stuff but they kind of said no to that before uh, because they said it's good if you have some extra because they don't know if I was supposed to switch medicine right now because the first medicine brought me down. You remember that. I went down too far. I went down to 85. Well, okay, it's not too far, but it's on the edge. So they said like, no, no, no. You saw how fast that went and that went crazy fast. So now they said like, but now it's okay because you're stable on this meds right now. So I can go down and because I have a fatty liver, I knew that already. And that's why I've been eating much more healthy. Uh, but now I can uh, eat, even, eat even more healthy and walk more and, and it's a perfect timing because spring and summer is here so now I can start moving for real you know what I mean so this, uh, this um, episode will not be that long I don't know how much to like what to say really because I'm happy but at the same time all my efforts is it only like making it stand still or like has it really helped like you know or is it only the meds but i think like i have to think positive and say like all the efforts i put into what i put in my body and eat has been helping out with the break because the break medicine is doing its job it seems like so yeah now it's just off to lose weight and reverse the fatty liver and after i reverse the fatty liver i will reverse the cancer that's my goal, to be given this cancer a freaking fight. You don't come over here and take over my body. I have control over my body and what goes into it. So, much more walking, much more exercise. You're gonna have all these videos gonna be me walking, 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 because it's the easiest way for me to exercise is to walk and just watch the beautiful, you know, world we live in and force myself to go out. And now I know the, 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 like the cause of, remember me? Well, you all guys know this. My feet started swollen up and I never had this problem before. Like why, why do my feet keep on swelling up and blah, blah, blah. It's the blood pressure medicine. Why the fuck do you switch out blood? Like I have a little bit high blood pressure. So they then, then they give me a pill that makes my feet swell up and my legs so it's harder for me to walk and exercise and exercising brings your blood pressure down for fuck's sake just just give me a training coach and start training me instead of giving me blood pressure medicine so now i'm going to talk to my doctor again because i'm 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 getting rid of this fucking medicine this blood pressure medicine is just causing more harm than good i had a hard time walking to the fucking hospital yesterday because of it sorry i get excited because i feel like they don't have a holistic look on anything and it makes me mad it really makes me mad it, it freaking sucks i'm gonna hold it with this right now got cramp in my oh shit yeah so it makes me mad that they they never go to the root of the problem but i'm going to the root of the problem and that's hey i need exercise you're fat why don't you say like hey you're too fat you have a fatty liver start eating better and taking care of your body. That would have been much easier. <laughs> no, we give you some fucking pills and uh, 
it will cause other issues instead and not fix the first problem. So fuck you. Like that, sorry, I, but that makes me mad. I want to get, you know, out of this. Not, I don't want to get new shit, you know what I mean? And I keep on saying like, you know what I mean? Because I grew up to that area of time where we always said, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, that's the area I grew up in. And I'm walking around flashing our latest pur purchase. Berlin Crew, the summer edition. No, it's gonna be my, be my forever edition because I really love the vibrant colors on this one. Now I'm gonna be rocking it on hoodies in the winter. You know, I'm gonna be rocking it. I'm just saying, I love you, Beardling crew. You know that. And um, for those who are Swedish or Norwegian or understand Swedish, I have just started a new channel on YouTube. It's up to you if you want to go there and subscribe. I have zero subscribers when this will be posted. I haven't even said that it's live. I have no videos there yet, but I think we have like one or two on the way uh, where we, I'm, I'm going to start vlogging in Swedish, um, but I'm doing this, of course, but this one is, you know, it's like five to 10 minutes videos where I talk about where I am with the cancer and it's called cancer and to be talked about because we want to spread awareness in English too that people should talk about this. It's, you know, something needs to be talked about. And it's this disease that is so fucking normal. Everybody gets affected of it. And we need to start spread awareness about it. And that's why I'm doing the charity I'm doing on Twitch with F Cancer, uh, Mind Over May. It's a uh, fuck cancer now takeover of the month is mental health awareness. So I think the whole, all of the guys raising funds for this, the whole, shebang is up to it was close to 2900 i believe so that's amazing so yeah that's where we are and what else any tips are good tips by the way so and we did oh I, yeah i need to give you guys this this was crazy good i don't know what to call it but it looks like scrambled eggs but if you take uh what's pump pumpkin yeah pumpkin seeds if you take fucking pumpkin seeds and you put them in hot water for a while and let them, and then you rinse them, you cleanse them, rinse them, and then you add, or just Google um, uh, pumpkin seed scrambled eggs. You make scrambled eggs out of it. And it's only, we only had water, pumpkin seeds, uh, turmeric, some black pepper, you know, stuff like that. Just check it, you're gonna find the recipe. It was freaking good. We ate that to a salad. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah it, was, it was really good. And it's, it's a lot of minerals in it too. So I really, I would recommend it to anybody. So, but let's do this. This is gonna be a shorter edition. So um, hit your toe, smile and laugh it off. Bada bing, bada boom. See you live when we got internet again. Vad fan gör du kvar här?